To better understand how upper cervical care works, you know, you really got to understand all the players involved in the system, your body parts and how your body functions. We've got the top two bones at the top of your spine, the atlas and the axis. Your nerve system flows through those top two bones. And your nerve system is like the super highway of communication throughout your entire body. And where is that communication coming from and going to? That's right, your brain. Sometimes patients really have a hard time grasping upper cervical because it, it makes too much sense. They ask me, could it really be that simple? And yeah, actually it is. It's, it's as simple as stepping on a garden hose. Let's say, for example, uh, you have a garden hose connected to the water spout, okay? Turn that garden hose on, water's flowing, flowing freely. Well, you come over, you put your foot on that garden hose. Now, what's going to happen to the water coming out the hose? Well, obviously, it's going to be diminished, possibly even cut off altogether. Well, the same thing happens with your body. I think that most people recognize that the world's greatest drug store is within your own body. It knows how much cortisone to produce and how much antihistamine to produce. It even knows how much cholesterol to produce, provided the system that regulates that is able to do so. You have to deal with that life power and respect it and work with it. Don't fight with it. Let it have its way. You can do that when you get rid of the cause of the interruption between the source and the body by correcting the upper cervical uh, vertebral subluxation. So if the brain can't communicate with some part of the body, it's going to get sick. But if the brain can communicate with all parts of the body, we stay well. That's the simplicity of it. That's the simplicity of it. And people can't, you know, you can give them the garden hose analogy that there's a source for the water, and you step on the hose, and the water doesn't water the grass. And when you remove your foot from the hose, the water comes out and waters the grass, and the grass grows. And it's too simple for them. It's just too simple. There's got to be something more to that. There's got, we've got to spray something on the grass. We've got to add something to the ground to make it grow. We've got to intervene in that. And the, and the wonderful thing about the body and the complexity of it is that it's, it's intelligent in itself. It's a self-healing organism. It just doesn't need any interference to its function. And all we do is correct that and, and we can expect health.